Reverend, Headmaster, teachers, fellow students of DBS. Okay, um, this is my second time coming up here to speak. First time was in my first year coming here. Okay, and the effect is always the same. Okay, there's a bit of awe coming up here. Now, um, I'm just following on on what Mr. Jung, okay, last week um, described or talked about. Okay, me basically, um, DBS. Okay which for many of us is literally a second home, okay, a second home. And this is a little, well, as I say this, okay, I'd also just talk, um, sort of describe my own passions, okay, and also interests, okay. I am an avid um, photographer. Whether or not my photos look nice is a different issue, all right, okay, and I also like testing various uh, types of technology, one of which failed during the um, grade 11 leadership training camp, okay. But the effect is something like this, I would hope to achieve in the future. All right, now this is basically a, a, um, a photo cut out of a video from the, um, the company that, uh, uh, that helped uh, videotape the uh, one uh, video record the 145th anniversary. Okay, this shows our school, which as I said is our home, right? Okay, um, what I just want to express when this one is, our school really is green and beautiful. All right, when you look at it from afar, okay, it's, um, my description would be, it's, a, it's basically a green oasis, a uh, spot in the middle of Kowloon, okay, extending all the way to Taiyangtung. And we have lots of trees around here and increasingly rare in the urban area. If you guys don't know, okay, I do teach geography. Um, looking up a bit closer up, okay, it's a very beautiful environment, okay. Um, I use Olympus cameras, okay, lots of people disagree with that, or I don't understand why I use them, but I still use them, okay, I don't really care much about others' opinion on that. Um, and just walking around on a casual day, okay, there are many things to take pictures of, okay, and these are just a few that were taken up, okay, um, in a single, uh, in a single afternoon, uh, actually in a single morning, okay, for an hour or so. and. Um, if I had the time, I would really love to go out and take, okay, many more pictures of our school, okay, and, um, but I mean, the pictures speak for themselves, okay, this is a beautiful place. Uh, I mean, not the quality, but the place, okay. And if we go really up close, okay, if we go really, really up close, there's a lot more beauty to see also, all right, we have lots of birds, okay, really lots of birds, okay, just the other day I was able to identify where a bird nest was, and I sneaked a picture just to confirm it, okay? Obviously, I won't tell you where I saw that, okay? We want to keep the birds, okay, safe and grow up, okay, as you guys are growing up at DBS, all right? If you look up close, okay, we have bugs, okay, lots of bugs. We have, uh, and there's an ant there, okay, and there's a uh, caterpillar there, at least what I think to be a caterpillar. And um, the little flowers, that around, okay, can look very lovely. The purplish, pinkish one there is smaller than my fingernail, all right? Smaller than the fingernail. So if we have to look up close, okay, DBS provides a lot, okay, provides a lot of lovely stuff, okay, and again, if I had more time on my hand, I would really love to go out and take more pictures, all right? But then we also have this. I hope your breakfast is in. All right. Now, I have to thank the boys from 10J for informing me of the location of that plate. Okay. If you look a bit closer, uh, actually, you can't. Okay. Um, that's basically a plate of what used to be something like carbonara spaghetti, spaghetti carbonara. Okay. That's been in one of your uh, lockers for quite a while. Okay. Those in grade 10 would know this. It stunk. Okay, and even though it stunk, no one gave much about it. All right, the janitors couldn't find it. The janitors couldn't find it because the, that particular locker had a lock on it. Okay? And you obviously have the many other things that are around. Okay, uh, the picture on your lower right side is uh, the remnants of uh, preparing for t uh, the school fate. Okay, we have lots of stuff that's on various different... Um, cupboards that are often left behind by people that decide that they don't want to bring it down. 
And for the, those in grade 11J, they would have seen the picture in the middle. Right at the end of that tip of the um, drink is a bug. Okay, it's right there, okay. Uh, well, I didn't uh, do a close up of it right now, but I just, of it. And um, on your lower, sorry, that was low left, this is lower right this time. You see how easy it is to actually just bin your rubbish. It's right next to you. Okay, now I'm not here to really um, criticize, okay, this is just, I mean, as I said, okay, if we go back, okay, we have a beautiful campus, very lovely, okay, it's a place that we all cherish, or we all say we cherish, all right, and yet we still have this. But what I'm trying to do today is, um, with the help of a friend, okay, an old boy, okay, um, I'd rather try to think, how do we keep this and this? Okay, who's been helping us maintain this? All right, and not just these. Okay, these are the outside ones, right? How do you never see this? Okay, if I had to ask you boys to recollect, how often do you see this? Okay, when you come to school. How often do you see your classroom the way it is when you come to school the next day after all the ruckus that's been in place, okay, in the classroom. Okay, and I, I think um, the pictures that I wanted, and, and uh, thankfully, okay, uh, uh, the old friend of mine, okay, helped take, um, helps illustrate a bit of this, all right? And, yep, uh, I just had to show this because I felt they were nice. Okay, rubbish, okay, beautifying it, okay. But at our school, other than all of us here, all 1,200 of us or, or more, okay, behind the scenes, we have lots of people that are helping out. Okay, whether it's picking up rubbish that was right at the rubbish bin for someone that attempted to throw rubbish, but failed. Okay, maybe he, ha he has to train on his okay, three-point shot. Okay, he'll have to pick it up and okay, put it back in, but we don't. Okay, we have people that help clean up. All right, our janitors. Okay, every day, um, Earlier than you boys, they come up to school, okay, they help open the classrooms, they help clean up, okay. Um, in between your classes, after recess or after lunchtime, okay, they are there to help clear up, okay, whatever has been placed uh, here and, and there, okay, for better or worse. At the end of school, okay, they put in the effort to clean up your classrooms, all right. Um, patiently, in many cases, waiting for the lots of you to leave your classrooms so that they can really clean up and really, okay, put up the, um, I mean, make all the tables and put them in a neat and tidy manner, okay? They are the ones responsible for moving the rubbish from the rubbish bins to the collection point that's right at the entrance of the drive. You know that, okay, most of you know that because, okay, you smell it all the time. All right, and they are also the ones that, if you have a broken table here and there, a chair, very often they're the ones that replace it. Okay, they go up, they pick it up. Okay, they remove it. Okay, and remember, okay, think of these uh, these people. Okay, this is our home, right? Okay, we said, as Mr. Chen said, this is our home, and who are we asking to do these? Okay. As a job occupation, uh, occupation, being a janitor is not a very easy job. I, I'd actually say it's a very difficult job, all right? Um, it's not very high paying. It's extremely laborious, okay, and backbreaking. Yet, the people that are involved in this occupation are often those that are out of other jobs, all right? They're maybe too old okay, to keep working on their original occupation, and, but they still need to earn money. And hence, okay, of the uh, janitors that we see around, if you take some time to look at them, to appreciate their age, who they are, how they are, okay, I think you'd appreciate also the difficulty that they have to endure on a daily basis, okay? This is not counting any uh, special events, arrangements, okay, that a school has to do, all right? This, okay, and you see just some other pictures of them, okay, helping you guys clean up your classrooms and whatnot. 
And moving um, back to what Ms. Mr. Zheng last week said, all right, this, if this is our home, do we or would we all be willing, okay, for each over thousands of us do our own bit to make this a better place, okay? Um, as the, uh, well, one of the mediators in the Green School Committee and also the Green School Action Group, um, I try, okay, uh, to get students to come and help, all right? One has been uh, during the school fate and by far the most successful one that I've seen and courtesy and a big thank you to uh, Mr. Kevin Rasmussen and Kevin Lau, okay, to get the, the scouts involved, all right? Right after the school fate, there were a lot of tables that had to be thrown away. And the voice here asked just like, okay, the uh, janitors in the, um, in the picture below, they helped clear up, they helped remove the, the wood from the um, metal so that the metal can be recycled, all right? My question to you guys is, um, will you guys help out? When asked, okay, will you help out? Okay, will, you, will each of you Okay, do a good thing or do your part okay, in the days to come at our school. Thank you.